Hey guys, this is me and Dee, I'm recording um, in the car. Um, I am, uh, what I'm doing, I am, I changed the name because I no longer have the red, the little red cap, I don't have that. Now I have a new car, so I'm going to try to try this here in my car. Um, I don't have it now about for a year, and I really, as you see in my last recording, I did not do no kind of uh, recording in the car because the, the people be all over the damn place jumping the seats and trying to get in the camera, and I just let them do it. But this here car here, I'd be damned if I let them tab this one here. Okay. Um, I want to ask you guys something. All my customers I have, I deal with everybody one-on-one. One -on -one. I deal with everybody uh, personality. I know how to switch in and out of who I have in the car, switch in and out of what area that I'm picking people up. So I don't like go in and act like that I'm better than anybody wish that I know in my situation I am better, better off than what I see. I don't know what's in their pocket and in their bank account. But anyway, I don't put them on, man. I just get down to being straight out normal with these people. Um, I have a great deal of, of people from India that I deal with, all right? And I have my regular people from the island. But only thing what I don't like, even though that I make it like give them everybody my undivided attention one by one, I drive everybody separate. I don't care they go in the same way, but I always like get like commission. Is it a, hey, is it a, oh God, I got oh my glass. Woo, Jesus Christ. Woo. Anyway, I ask everybody in the car, even though they go in the same way, I will ask them, is hey, is it okay? Um, I got a a uh, couple that is waiting for me. Um, you guys are going the same way. You got a problem with them riding in the car with you? And they will say yes, no, uh, this another hour or two with this the coronavirus going on. I have a box of uh, uh, masks that I have in the car that I give them because a lot of time they get in the car without the mask. And when I take them like to pick up food, uh, Drop them off at the doctor's office, and then when they come into a problem, that the doctor's office will have a notebook there and say something about can't come in without a mask. So I have a box of masks that I just give it over to them, give them a mask. That they give me a good brownie point with them. I be on task. Uh, everyone that gets out the car, I don't care how busy or in the hurry I am, I always wipe it down. It's stay in the back front when I always wake now because I myself, I, I'm a sickly person. And man, it don't take much for me. I am scared of this virus that I hear in these streets. So I wipe it down because I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very paranoid about this whole dog one thing that's going on. And then also too, when the people get in the car, the car is clean. They always smell that, uh, they always smell that fresh smell that the car is clean. So anyway, I, I, I like that part about uh, how I uh, keep things in order. Um, my customer, what I just was talking about, I try to deal with everybody in an hour. I know how long and how many miles it would take me. And that's how I deal with it. And that's how I, I would schedule the next person. Cause I know where I'm going and how long I'm a fool all along with them out here in these streets, and then I keep it moving. But the people that she been with me for about like five months, I am. They are devoted to me. They have three stores, gas station, this and that. so other. You know the stores they. they they got to be open. They open up at uh, 6 in the morning to 10 at night. So these are show sure enough clients that I have. Okay. Only thing that I don't like about it is that I feel that they're taking too much advantage 
Uh-oh. Oh, this is the helicopter over here. I think so. I feel that they're taking too much advantage of my kindness and my time. Now look. Her pickup was at 12.30. Okay. I'm 15 minutes early. I always sit, relax, and, you know, whatever I'm going to do. That there, when she get in the car, uh, because that uh, she, the, the family is is devoted, I can count on them going to work. I ain't got to count on them, oh, don't pick me up, just them because they have their business. Just most of the people that I deal with, most of them, not all of them, that uh, they have this have their own business. Um, it's too much. I go by the house. I pick up a father. The deal is go to her store, pick her up, and take her to the other store that she has to be there like about, um, let's say about 1 o'clock. As I'm driving, she will call or text me. I swing by her house. I pick up her father. I bring her father to the store. I come back to the store. I pick up her. I take her to the bank. She do a transaction to the bank. I take her back to the store. After I take her back to the store, um, after I take her back to the store, she uh, do a transaction. Or this, now, this is a daily thing. Then, um, she, she be making a store deposit. Then I would take her about like three to five miles away to pick up lunch for the uh, her family member that be left in that store there, like her father and everything that, that is working in it. I pick up lunch for them. Get her, now I gotta take her all the way, um, 15 miles away to the other store. When we get to the other store, that's it's not finished there. I have to take her around to her brother-in-law's store. All this here. Now look at the time. It's what five after two. I supposed to be finished with her at 1.30. Even though that is her business, what she be doing. I supposed to be getting, but still, yet yeah, I still put even with the bank deposit, this and that. I still do the timing in one hour, and I give her some extra time because I come fifteen minutes early, you know. But they are taking advantage of the situation and for what they are charged because that I used to do things about the mouths. But certain people, I have to, because if they have certain things to do, I have to basically like throw out a price just like that. And that's how, that's how I go with that price. But all this time, I have to, I, now I am backed up. Because I had a 145 pickup. Now that person, they're mad. Okay, so I might well forget about that one there. Uh, uh, they mad. I can't go around there when they had a two thirty doctor's appointment. Look what time that I'm. Look what time that I don't drop her off and on there. So I'm not gonna forget about that. They late for their appointment. They don't call somebody else. What is Matthew saying? Because <laughs> my son. Um, they late for their appointment. They don't call somebody else. So only thing that I may face it in this is one hour, an hour and hour and. 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That's the only thing I made with that fee there. Okay? So what I got to do now, I got to try to, I can't get that back. Only how I get that back is I get a, a person that is not scheduled and they just pop up and call me and need a ride. And I can hit a price on them to back up the time that I don't lost with that, with picking up that person and spending time with this girl here. They good people. Uh, uh, I see what they're doing. I'm growing a lot from them. That's why when you see my videos that um, that I do at home, this one here is uh, uh, what did we call it? Um, Chronicle Lady Cab. Yeah, that's what this one. Here, that's what this here when I'm in the car. That's what it is. 
Uh, thanks to Rita. Shout out Rita, the one that gave the name. It took her three months, but she came up with something. And because I swear, I, I, I couldn't come up with none. So I asked her, and Rita gave it to me. And I swear, I love it. Thank you, Rita. Much love. Okay. Um, On my other videos, you would see about what I talk about in the car and what I talk about at home in my quiet time. They are totally, it's still me, but it's totally different conversation. When I'm in the car, I give out what's in the car and how these damn people don't piss me off. So now I, I, I don't lost that. Now I got to wait. Now I got down time. Hoping that somebody's going to call in. We said they are going to call in, but when they call in, they still messing up. Now I'm a, I get under pressure because they messing up the people, my working people that I pick up from work. I'm under pressure now. So what I have to do then is still, whenever that I start out, uh, not start out late, but it takes one person to knock you off your game. One person. So right now, with this here downtown, when they hit me, when that call come in for me to go, I'll be non-stop until 10 o'clock tonight, y'all. Matter of fact, until 11 o'clock tonight because I have a 10.30 pickup. That's his already scheduled. So, you know, it's uh, it's uh, good, more, good money in this business, but it's also to a lot of pressure. You know, they always tell me, the three most stressful jobs that in the world. The first one is the president. The second one is a uh, air uh, air fly uh, uh, air pilot, you know, and driving. All of this stuff is critical with timing. You can't be you can you can be late, but if you come early on time, you mess us up. They wondering about how much speed how fast you was going. So it's always that you can be late or be on time, never be early. And that's the same situation with me in this here um, cab service. No, I'm not no Uber. I do not uh, uh, shout out nothing pertaining to Uber. Uber got a bad name in Bavard County. Bavard County is trying and going to court and fighting to get Uber out of here. But Uber basically um, don't sign a new contract in a uh, deal fact with um, coming into Bavar, but Bavar, they are fighting that right now, in and out of court. I don't know what's going on now since the pandemic, but before it happened, they went back to court in January. So I um, I keep up with it because that, that's in the fear of what, old, what I'm doing. They bring Uber back in Bavard County, full force. Okay, they're going to slow me down. But right now, I am, I'm up on, I'm, I'm up there. I'm the third highest cap in Bavard, but in Palm Bay and Melbourne, okay? The other ones in Coco, they over there on, uh, on the beach side. But other than that, in Bavard County, um, down over here on the lower end, Lower end for the people that's coming from Titusville, the upper end, the people that's right here in um, Palm Bay. I myself, I'm, I'm the third one. And the first two one, they look out for me. Because that they basically, like, I've been out here for four years pulling this here. And I have uh, 13 drivers, but I 